And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Maxmaster here with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Ultimate Guard 4 Pocket Xeno Skin Zip Folio. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention this particular zip folio comes in a couple of different varieties. It comes in 4 Pocket, 9 Pocket, and 12 Pocket sized zip folios. And it also comes in a wide variety of colors. You don't have to get it in just this awesome shade of green. Now, before we take a look at the inside, let's take a quick review of the outside of the zip folio. As you can tell, it's very minimalistic style. The only uh, artwork or words on the entire zip folio is the ultimate guard in the bottom corner to represent the company and the four packet zip folio on the back to represent the company as well, or the product. And you know what, the minimalistic style I kind of like because it doesn't draw attention to itself, it doesn't say there's anything real special in there, it just looks like a typical zip folio, and I like that. And plus it really gives a chance to show off the green. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the uh, Xeno skin that they claim to use on here, and I gotta say it feels very, very nice. Very nice to the touch indeed. And I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not, but you could probably see like little tiny dots kinda strewn around that goes all the way around the uh, zip folio. And I gotta say, the closest texture I can claim this to is almost like a leather. But I think it's better than leather. It just feels super smooth. Of course, this particular Xeno skin is wrapped around like a thicker style cardboard. And one unfortunate thing about that is if you put enough weight on top of here, it's obviously going to potentially damage the zip folio itself and the contents inside. But to be fair, any cardboard based thing like this including other binders, will suffer the same fate if enough weight is put on top of it. Now let's take a quick look at the zipper. As of yet, I have yet to have any zipper issues, so I'm very happy with that. I've opened and closed it a few times. The zipper is plastic, not metal. And unfortunately it doesn't quite zip 100% of the way closed, there is a bit of a gap there. So there is potential for a little bit of dust to get in there, but with the zipper, the majority of dust will stay out of your zip folio and your cards, and that is a great, great thing. A lot of things that other binders don't offer. Now, before we unzip this and take a look inside, I do want to say originally I was skeptical about buying this because on the website it claimed that it that the pockets were large enough to fit double sleeved cards. And I don't know about you, but uh, I have been led astray with that line of thinking before. Uh, I know one manufacturer in particular is really bad at that, uh, Ultra Pro. They say you can fit sleeved cards in there. I've tried and it feels like the card is almost at the point of bending. That's how tight they are in the, sli in the particular pocket. However, when I received this, the first thing I did, open it up, put a double sleeve card in there, and I have to say I was relieved to find out that it fits so good in there with enough room to wiggle around, but not enough room to get it loose. It's like a perfect, a near perfect fit. I don't have to worry about the card bending, and that was a huge relief. So I put a lot of nice cards in this particular binder to start. Now one thing you will notice is uh, the pages are indeed side loading and there's 20 pages per binder back and front 
to make a total of, what would that be, 20, 40, 80, that'd be, what, 160 cards you can load in here total? Now me personally, when it comes to side loading, I don't know what it is, but uh, I don't like to put cards on the back. One thing I notice is if you put cards on the back and you try to remove a card that has cards on both sides, it has a potential chance to damage the card on the back side that you're trying to remove from. So I never actually put them on the back side when it's double sleeved. But when it comes to this quality, I really don't have to because it's just so nice. And it fits cards of all sizes. Your standard MTG, your smaller Yu-Gi-Oh sized cards, or in this case Miracle Battle Cardaeus. And I have to say, it just works super well for those type of cards. Well, I didn't put everything in here, I just put a kind of a start, and honestly, I am so impressed with this particular binder that I actually want to upgrade to the 9 packet one, because I got the 4 packet one because I wasn't sure how it was going to be. Now that I have it, I'm super impressed by it, and I want to upgrade to the next size. I definitely recommend anyone out there who is potentially considering getting one of these to uh, definitely consider getting one because for some of your higher end cards or if you just want a quick easy trade binder to carry around with you it's totally worth the purchase. My big complaint that I have about it is uh, for whatever reason it doesn't want to lay flat when I hold it uh, book open like this. It kind of wants to just fold up. So that is one of my biggest complaints about it is you when you open it you kind of kind of hold it open by yourself. Other than that it is a great book. It is a great card binder. Definitely worth the purchase if you are considering it. With that said, that has been my pro, my unofficial review of the Ultimate Guards at Folio. If I had to give it a rank from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and being the best, I would solidly give it an 8.5 to a 9. I... I'm going to go 9. Just because I was super impressed that it could fit those double sleeved cards. With that said, this is Booster Max Buster. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment if you did. That'd be awesome. Signing out.